What was that? Huh? What are we going to do this morning, Mom? We are going downtown to serve the homeless. Nice, nice. Here's Papa Loud and Proud. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a surprise. <laughs> We're mostly going to just be probably serving them coffee and hot chocolate, talking to them, kind of hanging out with them. They're going to be waiting to start their, go in for their um, church service they have there. Nice, nice. Okay, everybody, well, it is just shy of 8 o'clock. We showed up at the center here where we're going to be handing out some coffees and hot chocolates and stuff. So, we've got the whole family here. And uh, we're about to go out and spread some love. Well, that wrap. Well, what'd you think, son? No, it's good. I thought there would be more people coming up to get stuff, but... Some of them just kind of acted like they weren't sure about us yet. We met a guy who said he's been homeless since 98, and he's the ambassador down here to all the other homeless, and he helps them, you know, get started, get started and find places. And so that was interesting. Yeah. Well, I guess not everybody would be an expert at it at the, at the start. No, I guess um, it's a different life. Yeah. We're blessed, it just makes you feel more blessed, I guess. Well, everybody, I'm about to get you that no plug-in. That has got the 7.3 plugged in, but the no plug-in 12-valve cold start that you guys have been wanting. About to see how she does. She's start up fine. It's a, it's a Cummins. They tend to start up pretty darn easy, so we're gonna get the tripod set down here and the old girl fired up. Is the black smoke sitting. And let the truck warm up for a little bit and then I'll kind of tell you our objective for today's video. Well guys hopefully you enjoyed that little morning portion of the video and I just kind of showed you what we did this morning. We went and we gave hot chocolate and coffee to the homeless the, in the local area and uh, it felt good to do to kind of give back you know a little bit of your time and you know and uh, what we like to say around our place is we've been blessed to be a blessing and uh, if we can help out, lend a hand, something like that, here and there, why not do it? So we took our Christmas morning, our Christmas Eve morning, and that's what we did. Um, we could have just slept in, we could have just, you know, whatever, but uh, we decided to get up early and uh, go do that, you know, uh, because there are a lot of people in this world and in this life that are less fortunate than you. Um, even if you may think you're at the lowest of the low, there's always going to be somebody else who could use a hand who might be less fortunate than yourself so um, that's what we did this morning and uh, hopefully everybody's having a very very blessed Christmas Eve a very good holiday season you might be saying this Christmas Day if it is Merry Christmas and uh, yeah let's go let's go do a little bit of off-roading this is right behind our place we have 12 acres behind our house and yesterday when I kind of took my truck through that little bit of mud that little mud spot that was at our other farm not too far away but uh, I don't want to, you know, go. I don't, I don't want to go mud riding today. That's, you know, not really what I like to do with my truck. But we're just going to go up behind the farm here and take the truck around some of the fields, kind of get in a couple little spots where it might be a little bit fun to drive it and kind of test it out. And I'm going to try to keep it mostly in two wheel drive. So uh, we'll see how that goes. A little bit nervous, but uh, we should be good. We should be good. It should be a fun time. Definitely not a fan of braking anything, so we're going to stay away from that. And I do have my other camera, my other camera, my dad's camera. This is his nice camera. Um, I'm getting my setup soon to get a couple of shots around the field if I can get some rolling shots of the truck out there. Um, that you guys can get a perspective from in the cab and outside of the cab to kind of see what's going on. Um, my reactions to certain situations and stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's pull this arch and brake and go 
we'll have a little fun. It's definitely snowy out here, guys. Well, we got three and a half inches, and I think we're calling for five or six. We could have a little fun. We're gonna go right first. Already kind of spinning out here. I can feel it. I'm in second gear, about 2,000 RPMs. Okay, no, I thought I was gonna hit the fence, but I didn't. I cleared it. Definitely not moving. I hate using the four-wheel drive and we're gonna have to put her in four, guys. Already, we didn't even make it four. And just like that, walk away. You gotta love four-wheel drive. It is seriously like, it's like a stinking dream. You get a shot with this camera. Give a little donut action. Absolutely no traction, so I have to use my four high to get moving. started okay and then I can disengage it to too high once I'm rolling
Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. I, I didn't think it was going to cut into the ground like it did in a couple spots. Couple spots? I mean, it wasn't awful. <laughs> it needs some work. I honestly thought like it was just gliding over the like over the snow and grass. It didn't like cut like deep, but it, it like, flipped over. It turned the ground over in a couple spots. Like, it was only like the third, the second time. See, like, I mean, it just flipped. Dude, there's a worm right there. The first time it was just like this. Well, it's not that bad. Look, it just flipped the grass over. Like two inches of grass flipped it over. See? Just flip it right back down, and you're good. We're good. The first one was so much cooler. The first donut, though, I had momentum. The second one, I had to try to re make up my own momentum because I I come down the hill and then I just started spinning around. You might be able to hear it in the video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that is going to be the end of this video. It was not a very long video. I understand. Um, it's a day to spend time with family, and that is the objective for today. I happen to have between one and four o'clock when I could film and edit a video, so I was like, you know what? I know, at least for us, you know, Christmas Eve, we do stuff, but there's a lot of people that sometimes they don't do anything on Christmas, sometimes they do it on a, they do it on a different day or a different weekend, and because I know family personally, they'll do it on random weekends as long as it's close, but, um, and that there's probably some people out there that still wouldn't mind having a video. So I prioritize, you know, family stuff this morning. We had the middle of the day, mom's taking a nap, dad's overworking somewhere else, everything else, everybody's kind of doing their own thing for a handful of hours, and I'm like, you know what? Everybody else, I got to spend time with my, you know, my immediate family right here, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to spend the middle four hours of my day spending some time with my YouTube family. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, don't feel like I ditched any kind of family thing, you know, to do this and go out of my way. But I really do appreciate you guys, and I figured, you know what, if I've got some open time, the grind don't stop, get them some video, and uh, maybe not everybody will see it, but the people that were, you know, not so occupied on this beautiful snowy day might want to sit down and watch a video. Definitely drop some good, positive, uplifting, and encouraging comments below. Help somebody out. Go be the difference in the world. Be the difference on the YouTube platform, on all social media platforms, any platform or area in your life. Be the positive difference. You know, it's very easy to be sidetracked and, um, you know, be negative and bring people down and be it's all me, me, me. But in reality, guys, if you're going to complain, you know, because some people complain about, all oh, the world's just such a corrupt place now, be the difference. And it can be the smallest thing. Send somebody a kind text. Send somebody a kind, you know, message on Instagram. Send, you know, leave a kind comment in the comment section, um, you know, to help somebody else out. It doesn't have to help me out. Find somebody else in the comments that you think might need a, you know, hey, man, hope you're doing great. Do it. Just do it. Why not? It's a community. That's what we're here. We got to have each other's back. Like I said, you guys like family to me. I really appreciate you guys. We're about to roll past 30 thousand family members on YouTube, almost 10,000 followers on Instagram, and thousands and thousands of people on my Snapchat. I mean, you guys, I really do mean it. You guys are like family to me, and I try to stay involved as much as I can. It's just starting to get a little bit more overwhelming now with messages and Snapchats and direct, I mean, all kinds of different stuff. There's going to be so many, I can't keep up with them, but uh, I try my best when I can. I try to get through, so if I don't respond to you, please do not get offended. I'm not just like, uh He's not worth my time blowing her off. I really just like, if I want to, you know, live my life and get some other things done, I just can't, I just can't sit around and message people all day long. I got to keep on moving, keep on grinding, keep on moving forward with my goals and objectives. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join the family, join the team, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Might not be tomorrow because it's Christmas. So everybody have a very merry and a very blessed Christmas season and holiday. Hopefully everybody's doing well. If you are, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day. But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright. Live a normal life, doing nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.